Hey everybody, Inger Poncho here. And I've decided that I'm going to do a flash game. This is going to be a fun little LP of Spewer. Now I've uh, played this game once before, and I'm actually forced having to post commentate this because uh, I don't actually have like a video capture program that can both record like from my microphone and from my speakers so you know what can you do anyway this is actually a pretty fun game I like it because it's like a physics based platform kind of side scroller game and I'm a really big fan of those sort of games I don't know why I just really that's the kind of flash game that I like to play I've got a couple other ones I'm thinking about doing that are similar in their general design but uh different in you know what the game's actually about this game oh, just kind of struck me as really really well done the flash is well done, and like like the game runs really smoothly. The physics engine works like what like you think it would, and like the, the game's got this cute little character too, like this little spear guy who like yeah, it's, it's like vomits everywhere and like sucks it back up with the space bar. It's just crazy. Like he's so cute, but at the same time it's like ew. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just find it really adorable. Anyway, yeah, the, there's different kinds of puke in this game. You've got the green puke, which is like the standard, which is your pink when you when you fire the green puke. And uh, essentially it's just, you can use it to fill up areas and float across like it's water, or you can use it to uh, propel yourself across gaps like that. It doesn't give you a whole lot more momentum, but it does give you just enough that you can make jumps that otherwise you wouldn't have been able to make. So, it gives you that crucial uh, push to get you. And here you can see I've already beaten the game, so all six chapters are already unlocked, but when you first play the game, you have to unlock each level as you go, and you can't proceed to the next level until you've beaten, you know, the one before it and all that jazz, so you have to play through every level consecutively when you play through your first time. And it's not really, it's kind of a spoiler, I guess, to know how long the game is, but meh. That last one's actually like a bonus chapter after you beat the game, too, so... What can you do? Anyway, this level's not not too bad. I'm, I'm kind of going to have trouble like talking about the game while I do these sort of uh, LPs. Because I have a lot of things, other things I want to talk about that I feel like are actually a little bit more interesting. I don't know, maybe I should do an update video. I haven't never done an update video that wasn't like directly related to LPs, so I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway... Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Uh, I like the physics-based physics -based uh, side-scroller aspect. This level's interesting. You actually have to go over to the right and get the uh, switch over there first, and it drops you down to get the second switch, which gets you the puke. Which allows you to hit the third switch and actually exit the level. I'm not sure why his puke is just, like, stored in, like, some container in the ceiling and not, like, in his stomach, but oh well. Anyway, we'll run around and eat all that up and then jump up there and hit the switch. You, you sort of learn uh, the timing that you have to have in order to puke properly. You're gonna puke effectively, you have to fire at the right angle at the, at the right time in your jump, otherwise you won't get your full momentum's worth out of it, you know? This is this is this is the level where it's either you know it's do or die in terms of using your puke effectively. I, mean, I actually got here uh, up to the top of the level without a whole lot of trouble because I you see I'm using the puke very efficiently, I'm that I'm not really firing uh, too much on any one jump. And I'm sort of conserving it. Now here I kind of have to decide, like, do I want to go for it, or do I have enough left? Because I decided it can't hurt me to try, and so I figure I'll just go ahead and reach it, and barely drifted in. Just had just enough puke left. Yeah, if you don't, you actually can drop back down and pick up some, and then climb up again. But, uh, yeah, it's the end of chapter one, and you can see this scientist guy in the background. I don't know. At this point, we have no idea who he is, and I've, done, I've been in the game, and I still don't really understand what, what's going on here, but... He's apparently, like, experimenting on us, I guess, and I don't know if we're doing well or not. Hopefully. Not really sure what the purpose of all this is, other than making a fun Flash game, I guess. You can eat other things. You can eat things other than your own vomit. What a revolutionary idea. Pills will make you throw up in new and possibly exciting ways. Ah, oh, drug use. Fruit, f fruit fills you up and tastes great. That's tr actually true. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this white uh, puke, which I don't even mean, it's more like clouds than puke, uh, and when you're the white sphere, it's really light, and you can see it, like, it doesn't, like, stick in the air where, it, where you put it, but it sort of floats in the air wherever you spray it, and your spear, your guy has the ability to swim through it in a similar way 
to the way he swims through the green puke, it's a little bit different because when he swims through this puke, he actually like pushes it down and out of the way. And so you can't swim in it forever like you could with the green puke. And yeah, you can see on some of these levels it's gonna have like the regurgitating or reimagining or whatever correcting screen. This this game has a lot of uh like you just lost a life, try again screens, and they all say something like regurgitating or you know, reanimating or whatever. To indicate that you're trying again. And you'll if you see those, it means that I had to try the level, you know, at least twice to get it, but the great majority of these levels, uh, this is my second playthrough of the game. First time was just for, you know, fun, because I'm over here in England and I don't have a uh, 360 or whatever, and so I've got some free time, and I've already done all my work, and I've nothing really happening around the house. So I'll just get on the computer play some Flash games. Pretty fun. And uh, here I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I'll be able to get out the other side. I don't, I don't think I could, but yeah, I was right. Because you can't quite make it when you have just that puke, because some of it's still sitting back there. And really, I needed to bring more of it with me. So here I'm trying to figure out what I should do. And I decided I'm going to try to, like, rocket myself up by eating a little bit of puke and then spitting it down. But if I eat too much puke, I'll fall down onto the spikes, so I have to be really careful here. I think I actually managed to get it to work. Yeah, there we go. Tricky little maneuver there. Let's see, working our way through Chapter 2 here. What level are we on? Fill her up. This one's actually pretty easy. I actually executed this one really well. I think on my first try, too. But the trick is, the first thing you have to do is jump down. That gets you the, uh... You puke to, uh... Get up to the switch there on the right. And the way that you want to use the white puke is, if you can, you want to spray it, like, along a wall. Because that'll allow you to slide right up the wall. Or you can do, like, underneath... I'm playing with his mouth right there, because he's kind of got, like, a funny little face he does when he, you go from hitting the space bar to not. So here I'm trying to consider if I should shoot it at the wall or not, I decided to just go right in the middle of the room. You actually gain a little bit of momentum when you're in it, so you sort of can like, pop out the top like that. You can do some surprising things with it, you need to fool around with it for a while to really get what what's possible with physics. Ah, here we go, changing recording sessions now. Now this is a neat little trick, you sort of just like, whoop, skim across the top like that. It's a nice way to like, lengthen your jump, so you can't really use it as a platform. If you stop and try to like float in it, you'll just like end up pushing it all down and out of the way, and you'll eventually end up dying because that stuff on there is acid. If you didn't catch that. Anyway, what's next? Acid rain. Ah, oh, yes, and this this will be one of the few deaths I think in the LP, just because I wanted to show you guys that this stuff is actually like acid and not like fruit juice or something. And so I, I decided, hmm, what would happen if I ran into this? If you even touch it at all, it just immediately death. That's the same way that you dive with a. Any other death, falling on spikes, getting caught in the acid. I think it's only actually. I think it's the only two ways to die. Now that I think about it, those might be the only ways you can die in this game. It's falling on spikes or jumping into spikes, I guess, on walls and ceilings count too. You kind of got stuck there for a second, or running into the acid. But, so it's not not too bad. Pretty simple. Like the best games are straightforward enough to be. Like simple and like easy to understand the concept behind, but are also like at the same time complex enough that you can actually like oh shit what's going on don't do that don't go to sleep stupid computer <laughs> my screen just decided to turn itself off I don't like that I don't like it to do things without me telling it to like I've got all these settings and everything but I haven't really fooled around with them enough to get it all the way I like yet I, just, I don't know I like I always like I let it bother me for a really long time I never actually go around to changing it. So it starts like drive me mad, man. And here, what you want to do is run underneath these first two, so you don't have to deal with them. Because it's pretty easy to just hop over the last two. But if you stay at the beginning where you start the level and try to hop over all four, the acceleration from that treadmill that they're on is going to make them move so fast it's going to be pretty damn hard for you to land and jump again without getting nailed by the acid. And so basically, just work your way down there to the door. I didn't actually even use any or need to use any of the puke there at the end. Just fooling around. Now this one's tricky. This is this is where you'll you'll really get used to the jumping in physics. Now note when this viewer hits the ground, he kind of bounces for a second. You see that little bouncing animation? If you try to jump at the wrong time in that animation, you won't be able to jump. Like see right there, I I like fell off, and I meant I meant to go down there, but like if I had tried to jump, I wouldn't have been able to. And here I am waiting for the acid to roll off. See, there's a lot of acid like right in my way at, at this point. Like this is actually a pretty bad stroke of luck here, that there's acid on the left corner and the bottom right corner there. Right where I need to land, basically. <laughs> basically right where I would want to land. But I managed to get around it. 
Anyway, not so bad. Oh, we're getting near the end of chapter two. How many levels we have got? We got left. I am trying to figure out there how many we've done. And here, this is a little bit tricky. You gotta kind of spew just enough to get you up to the switch, but don't waste any because you're gonna need it. And that will bring the fruit down to you. Now you got a nice big full belly. If I didn't ever say, which I don't think I did, but it was explained on the screen that the fruit gives you extra puke from eating it. Essentially, it gives you a lot of puke. It gives you a, like a bonus amount so that you can uh, quit dimming the future screen. Stop that. I just wiggled my mouth like a second ago. You sort of float through there. Now that's a little bit tricky. You might, you might actually want to go back down and grab some of the puke and bring as much as you can with you. But anyway, I think that's all going to be, be all for this video. That's the first two chapters in one video. That's not so bad. So we'll just sprout some puke and get a medal. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Spear.